Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and I kind of forgot about this vid that I had it recorded, but I'm also just throwing on these um, extra ceramic packs too. But yeah, this 500k pack openings from a bit while ago. This is also me opening up some of those um, ceramic packs and stuff from the new update. But I guess it's not that new. It's been out for quite a little bit of time now. But I guess it's decently new. But yeah, this was a 500k I opened like right once the update dropped. So I'm kind of hoping to get some like new stuff. But these are also some ceramic packs that were going to be thrown into like one of those big like hour long videos. But I thought they'd fit a bit better here just so I can explain that. That this is a kind of old pack opening. So I'll cut to the live part shortly. Also just here's another Asia Pacific Grand Prix um, ceramic pack. So maybe we can get something good from this one. Pajera Field Guard, don't have that one yet. So that is a cool one. Then Opal Vectra, Lamborghini Espada, and let's see what we can get from this one. All right, MX-5 2.0, that's not too bad. Then we are opening up one more, I believe. Honestly, I don't remember. These are old clips and I'm just talking over them. Suzuki Splash, Honda CRX, okay. Citroen C2, and something good. Nope, the Mazda Familia. Pretty sure I already have one of those, but honestly, I don't remember. Because this was like, a while ago. Yep, I already do have one though. But yeah, now we are going to be cutting to the live part. Live 500k pack opening, and here we go. Yo, what is up guys? It is Yellowfin, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a 500k pack opening of packs ceramic packs and hopefully we can get some of these wish listed cars that i've been wanting honestly i'd be very happy if we got any of these but let's see really i'd like some new ultra rares though so let's hop on over to the japanese cars and just get right on into it but really a new old oh jeez, oh, i can't speak a new update ultra rare would be great so hopefully we can get one nope honda crv for the first pack all right 500Ks with these Japanese premiums too go by pretty quickly <clears throat> because, you know, the packs are more expensive, 10K more. But it's worth it because we need Japanese cars since the new update is Japanese and Korean and I guess Australian as well and there's one Chinese car. But we can't really pull the Korean cars from the Japanese packs. Really, they should just add more country packs too. It honestly would be kind of cool. To be able to get the opportunity to get like some of the Korean cars or the Australian cars. Since they now have a bit of like weight to those countries in the game. Oh, Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. And the Lancer Rally Art. That's actually a decent one. Oh, but then a Suzuki. Okay. That one's not new update. But let's check out those two real quick. Because, yeah. Oh, and the Mazda. I didn't even realize it. I didn't realize that Mazda was new. I guess I already have that Mitsubishi Eclipse though. All right, and we got to confirm our purchase again of the Japanese premium. Let's see, Chrysler 5th Avenue. Oh, I did not say 5th Avenue. All right, let's see. Nope, Nissan Navara, another RQ40. Let's see if we can get something better than RQ40 in this pack. Mitsubishi Starion, that's a new one. Doesn't look too bad either, 8.975. Rietta, Escalade, GTO, and... Nope, we beat it, beat an RQ40, we got an RQ41. Maybe we can do better than RQ41 though, let's see. Maserati Sebring, Colt, Nissan, oh, 43, and, whoa! Nissan Jukar, legendary! That is like one of the strangest legendaries. That was the legendary I was not expecting to pull. Of any legendary to pull, the Nissan Jukar is not what I was expecting, honestly. I'll take it though, that's actually a pretty solid one, medium ground clearance, SUV niche. That's actually really solid, I'm not gonna lie. So I will take it, this is a good 500k pack opening. We did get the Nissan Juke R. Oh, and the Mazda Tenza Mazda Speed, I've been wanting that one. Honda Prelude Type S, I believe I don't have that Mazda, I don't even know. I So many, oh, there we go, there's a new one too, RX-7. Do know that one's new. But that Nissan Juke R, though, well, I actually feel like it'll be useful in events, too. Because it has the SUV niche. Let's see if we can keep the luck going, though. Alcyone, Santa Fe, alright. We're 
luck has kind of turned around a bit right there. I mean, we hadn't really opened up that many packs anyway. We were like midway through the pack opening, but I'll take it. Definitely not going to be an all super rare pack opening now. I will happily take a legendary. But let's see, maybe, well, actually, I don't really even know if I should ask for more on top of that. I mean, you can always ask for more. Maybe we can drop an ultra rare too. But I am perfectly content with that Nissan Juke car. Infinity I-35, okay. And this one is going to be the last pack, most likely, because I'd like to keep some extra cash. Jaguar XK150, Vauxhall Cavalier, Renault Sport Clio V6, and a Honda Pilot all-wheel drive. But there we go. That was 20 not-owned cars. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just add the rest as Fuse. Keep the Mazda, keep the Mitsubishi. Keep that Mitsubishi as well, the Starion. Definitely keep the Jukar. Yep, the Atenza was new. And the RX-7 was new as well. There we go. Pretty solid pack opening. Also going to add all this to just fuse it away. So I definitely need... Oh, I guess I did already have the Eclipse. Never mind. But I definitely need the fuse material because I've got a lot of cars I want to max out. And that's why I'm also keeping that extra 100k too. But that was a very solid pack opening. Especially for it being Japanese premiums where the chances aren't as good then. So we've got a lot of nice views now. That was legendary number 70. So the legendary number is building. 30 more, and then we'll have 100 legendaries. And medium ground clearance. So it actually, it's pretty decent for medium ground clearance. It seems to be better than the Lancers. I'm not sure how much MRA it has, though. So it'll be interesting to see how well it does in city streets. It's pretty high up there, though, in RQ. It's tied with RQ to the Panamera, and it has one better handling than the Panamera. Just has a lot less top speed. 100 locked cars now from the new update as well. Got to keep on working on maxing some stuff out, but it's not looking too bad. Just got to keep the upgrades flowing, and we got plenty of fuse to keep those upgrades flowing. So, honestly, the collection is growing pretty good. I just have a lot of stuff I need to max out. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff that needs to be maxed. But... That's what that 100k is for. It's probably not going to last very long though. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, join the Discord. Link in the description. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.